To succeed, one must strike a balance between the path we choose and the destination we want to reach. And the popular definition of success has been based primarily on three elements, power, money, and fame. But I would say that success means different things to different people at different walks of life. So consider this, a school principal who started a high school that teaches children values, self-esteem, and love for nature, is creating an environment where children grow in healthy ways and develop awareness and values any less successful than a business tycoon who masterminds corporate buyouts? Or consider a person who volunteers at an old age home to read to the elderly whose eyes can no longer perform the task. Is this person any less successful than, let's say, a professional cricketer who scores the winning run? Well, the truth is, there is no universal definition of success. Everyone has their individual vision of what it means to be successful, and ultimately, there is only one judge. You and only you. So when success is pursued as proof of your worthiness, you are giving your life and your values to the assessment of others. On the other hand, when success is pursued as the alignment of your innermost values and goals, your presence on Earth becomes meaningful. When you choose a direction, you must trust that whatever situation you experience is for the greater good as it prepares you to reach your goal. If you focus only on the goal, you are going to do whatever it takes to get there. But somewhere along the way, you will miss adding real value to it. In school, most students would consider going to engineering or medical college, a destination choice. I have decided to pursue an economics major and then international relations for my further studies, and I'm trusting that the choice that I make and the path that I choose will eventually help me contribute towards women's empowerment and be the voice of many unheard women, a destination I'm happy with. What I have learned is that success is a process that begins from within oneself. It starts as a glimmer of hope and then evolves into a thought that plants a seed of promise inside your soul. Whatever your dream may be, the dream needs to be activated into a desire before you can make it happen. Everybody has the ability to succeed, but not everyone can fully grasp the fact that success is attainable only to those who have a purpose and the confidence to follow their heart's desire with dedication, determination, and persistence, all of which are the prime ingredients in the recipe for accomplishment. But many a times in life, we allow ourselves to crumble by the decisions we make and the circumstances that come our way. Self-sabotage, it's the number one reason for defeat. Certainly, there are going to be unfortunate incidents and many tempting parking places along the way, but if you categorize those as the primary reasons why you cannot achieve what you want, then you are caught up in an endless cycle of blame. So it all comes down to how you decide to perceive your experience. You can either view it as a failure or you can view it as a temporary impediment on your path. Adjust your course of action by taking a different approach. Only through self-reflection will you gain the necessary insight to begin this process of change. As we all know, in life there are always new heights to reach, new vistas to explore, and new lessons to be learned. This journey becomes a continuous process of refinement, leading you to your ultimate victory, the accomplishment of your goal. Back in the year 2017, I went to Germany as a Rotary International Youth Exchange student. Before I left to Germany, I decided that I was going to become fluent in German. So I attended German language classes and also learned with digital learning apps. When I passed my A1 examination with 90%, trust me, I couldn't wait to land in Germany and impress everyone with my conversational skills. But on my arrival in Germany, I realized that I was, in fact, close to being 0% fluent. I struggled to understand anything that anybody said to me. In school, everybody spoke only in German. The pronunciation was so different, and they spoke super fast that I felt totally out of place. I was disheartened, and I was demoralized. But that's when I decided, come what may, I would learn the language. My goal was to build conversational fluency. So I enrolled myself for German classes again and made it a point to speak only in German. Broken German, of course, but to every person I interacted with. I also watched German movies and listened to the local music every day. 
To be honest, the hardest part of learning the language was to get the correct pronunciation of the letter R. Take my name, for example. In India, people call me Utra. But in Germany, I had to introduce myself as Utra. So it took me a few months to learn the art of naturally rolling the tongue to get the correct pronunciation. But by the end of eight months, I could see the path to fluency. And when my exchange year came to an end, I had to give a presentation in my host club. And I did so in fluent German, something I'm very proud of. Es dauert nicht ein Leben, um Dinge zu ermöglichen, solange wir motiviert und engagiert auf unserem Weg bleiben. What I said was, it does not take a lifetime to make things possible, as long as we can stay motivated and dedicated to our path. So the challenges and experiences of life abroad for a 16-year-old not only developed me as a person, but also taught me new skills and created a new meaning in my life. However, there was another challenge awaiting me on my return from Germany, which was to lose the extra 12 kilos that I had gained. I was aware of the perils that came with weight gain, and so I decided to set my sight on concrete actions. And then my weight loss journey began, going from cola and soda to drinking plain water, from no vegetables to eating meals packed with veggies, from no exercise to waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning to start my exercise routine, and the hardest part, saying a big no to junk food, was indeed heartbreaking. But I learned that when you implement a few lifestyle changes and a healthy diet, losing weight becomes inevitable. So my journey is not one of an overnight success. It has been one with a collection of small milestones along the way, eventually leading to more than I expected to gain. If we rush the process to achieve our goal, we forfeit the lessons and experiences that enrich and mold us along the way. Setting goals illuminates our path. Do not be afraid to take even the smallest step towards your dream, because fear of change can unconsciously sabotage efforts. Many of us are programmed with limiting beliefs about ourselves, about what we can do, or what we can be. Our beliefs directly impact the reality we create in our lives, and so it's very important that we expand our beliefs and unlock the doors in our minds. I was raised to believe that the important decisions we make in our life must be based on truth, because truth is a source of power. Each step you take towards it energizes you, and each step you take away from it robs you of your energy. The closer you stay within the bounds of truth, the sooner you'll find the fulfillment you seek. It may seem convenient to you know, take the easy road or even deviate from honor when no one is present, but maintaining integrity. It's a lesson that often comes up when you succeed, for it is then that you may have to compromise your values in order to proceed towards your destination. So now, it's a moment of choice when a new option is presented to you. You have to decide to either stay on the same road and continue towards where you are going, or you can make a change. Try a new road and see where it takes you. Each path contains its own value, whether through fulfillment or lessons to grow from. The challenge presented to you is to weigh every option, make your choice, and then direct your vehicle in the direction you select, because only you can decide the path you wish to take. I would like to reiterate that success lies in the eyes of the beholder. It is defined in your terms, and it is as varied as the people who strive for it. You may ask, how do I know if I'm successful? I'd say simple, ask yourself if you're happy, because to me, happiness is a great measure of success. You may or may not have regrets about the path you have chosen, but for as long as you can learn from them, pick up the threads and move on, you are on your road to success. Thank you.